In this video, I'm going to tear down a buddy heater. Let's hope I, it goes well. First one I did took me like 10 days. Like, no, actually 10 months. <laughs> I don't know. It took me a long time. So I'm going to show you how to take down a regular buddy heater. Not one of the big ones. So I already did that one. But this one's a regular buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. Today's video, we're going to tear down a regular buddy heater. Because it won't light, it won't ignite. So, let's take a look at it. So, all you get is a spark and nothing else. I have my alcohol. I use those. I use this down in the office and nothing. So, what I bet you has happened is I used the wrong hose and there's oil in the fuel line. So let me show you the oil in this. Let me tear this down. Basically it's pretty simple. This just comes off. It's actually not simple at all. So let me get set up for that. Okay, this is not going to be fun. I've already done it on one of them. And it is a pain in the butt. Press up, pull this out, and then that comes out. I recommend that you take care of your buddy heater so you don't have to do this because I do not recommend this to anybody. That just pops off. So you want to make sure you're using the right hose. If you're not using a Mr. Buddy Heater hose then you need to be using a filter. Screw, screw. There's one up here. Can you see? One there, one there, one there. Set it on the other side. Boom, boom, boom. And don't forget what screws go where. She wasn't that fun. You got to be careful with that wiring because obviously you don't want to snap that, break that in anyway. So the hose that I'm going to, or the tube that I'm going to tear, take off is this tube here because this is where you put your propane. So we're going to take this one off here, comes around and goes over to here. Okay, and then I might take this one off here, but probably not. And then I'll air hose this, and then I'll air hose this guy here. Let it blow out through here. This one is for the orifice, so I'll probably do that one. Where am I? So I'll probably clean, here we go, this is a better angle, 
I'll take this one off here and clean that one out too. And it's that way I can clean that guy out some more. You want to make sure that you don't, when you're taking these off, they might be kind of frozen on a little bit. So be careful that you don't bend this stuff up because you'll just, hopefully it would only bend right here. And if so, then that's an easy, that way your knob still fits squarely in the hole. Well, let's go ahead and find out what sizes these are and go from there. Wow, did you see all that oil that came out of this? This is just a regulator. So my concern now is the regulator may be gunked up with that oil and it may cause the regulator to malfunction. But I'm glad I blew that out. See all that oil that came out of this thing? It's just pouring out. No wonder it didn't start.
Control's helping. Hi, Control. He always has to say hi. So it's all put back together. No loose screws. I know, right? Good job, huh, Dad? Right? I know. So every screw, no screws left over, no loose screws. And, and I guess we'll, uh, I've already primed the line. So we won't have to go through the whole check it. I've already tested it and it works, dude. Look at that. Flame. Can you see the flame? That's a beautiful flame. I like that flame. Now low, you see it flickering, it's going to get nice and pretty red, look at that, put it on high, instant red, beautiful. So, thumbs up. So in conclusion, if these don't work, these don't work, along with your alcohol, then your lines are clogged and you got to clean out your lines. You've been using the wrong hose. Probably to play it safe, you probably, if you use one of these on the, even with the Mr. Heater hoses, it's probably the best. That way you can guarantee, well I don't know about guarantee, but you can pretty much be assured that there would be no oil in your, uh, in your uh, gas lines, in your propane lines. So, but it works, putting out nice heat, that's a beautiful flame. Hopefully this helped you guys out and uh, de gonna, it's definitely helped me out. Because now I'm going to have heat for this winter. I have done this to two heaters, just this size, and I had the big buddy, I tore apart as well. So the second time tearing this one, this was, a, this was number two. So much easier. I don't recommend that you tear it apart, only because, gosh, it's such a pain. But if you are using the wrong hoses and you do have problems with it light, you know, lighting, igniting, then, yeah, you probably have to tear it apart. So, but that's all. Thanks for tuning in. See you. Bye. Have fun.